Pastor Richard Faith Benson, what really is dating? I think uh, God is finance, wisdom, uh, ordain relationship, ordain marriage, you know, and all that. But before you get into relationship or start dating, there is one thing that you must know. You must know your purpose. Mm. You must have a purpose. You cannot just do something that uh, for, for doing sake that everybody is doing it, so let me also do it. You must have a reason. Okay. You see, the race between a lion and a deer, a deer. the deer always why? Because the deer is running for his life and the lion is running for food. So when you are driven by purpose, you live. But when you are driven by need, you lose. So the lion always runs for a need, but the deer is running for a purpose. The purpose is that he must live. So when you do not have a purpose, sometimes you miss out on the actual facts. Relationship has to do with understanding the will of God for your life and you discovering your will and then you take it from there. The fundamental uh, level, that's friendship. Okay. So that's why we say boyfriend, girlfriend. So in the boyfriend, girlfriend level, you can have as many boyfriends, you can have as many girlfriends. Wow. That is boyfriend and girlfriend. There is no strings attached. Okay. Nobody is coming to anyone's home to come and cook. Nobody is paying anybody's school fees. Nobody is doing anything, so you can have as much as you can because you are friends. There is nothing serious. So the dating comes when you have actually set an eye on you know, the friends that you have. You set an eye on one of them. You can still go out on a date. You know, going on a date doesn't mean that you are going to do anything. It is a process of getting to know yourselves. Yes. You know, it's, it's from the relationship, dating, and then to courtship. Courtship is actually when you you single out one person. The initial stage is friends boyfriend girlfriend you are just friends there's no strength at that you have not proposed love but you are actually studying the friends that you have then through that you can go on a date we are friends so if I go on a date with Abba then there's nothing wrong if I go on a date with you there's nothing wrong because I haven't proposed to you because I'm trying to, to get to know you the courtship stage is where I have actually made my intention known to you that you are the one that I want to be with Wow Okay, I think I'm learning something new. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I think she's jumping the gun. You get it. So the courtship, the courtship stage is where you have made your intention known that I like you. So which means that you have weighed your options and you have prayed about it and you are convinced that this is the person. So you made it known to the person, then all the other people still remains your friends. So why don't you pray to God to, mm -hmm. to, to show you that particular one mm -hmm. rather than trying to... I think, I think, I think, I think Nana wants to come in. Hey. Yes. We, 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 are, we are not going to pray any prayer. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> See, that actually his, brings me to the his, next. He, first of all, he said that mm -hmm. okay. you must have a purpose. Mm -hmm. You must have a reason. Mm -hmm. If you have a reason, you know the kind of person you want to marry. You yeah. So you find this when you have that kind of friendship. So I said that With it is not the people time. Or one mm -hmm. person. That's what I'm saying. That it's not the time to propose. propose. It's not the time to make your mm -hmm. intention known to the person. So mm -hmm. the lady he met at the mall, he could have still communicated with her. Exactly. He could have so still why, yeah. why did he okay, so have have Personally, I realized that there's. Yes. Okay. I think when she was speaking, she was mixing up uh, a bit. Okay. Because I am sticking to my position that you haven't made your intention home. Okay. And they are on whether the she's fact assuming or not. Whether you, you, or for marriage she's purpose. assuming or not. I haven't made not my open intention your home. Mouth, tell her you and like when you are talking to someone, it also depends the things you are telling the person. Okay. That will, that will draw the person's attention to you that, oh, this person likes me. Mm -hmm. you and it's not that you are always testing the person. No, once in a while, you check on the person. And if you fix your eyes on, oh, I like this lady, let me have a deep conversation with the person. You know what you want. Courtship is the period where this time you have, through the friends that you have, You've made and by what you have been able to find out. Mm -hmm. And add in prayer mm -hmm. for God to direct you. Mm -hmm. And you make your intention known. Mm -hmm. Now, after making your intention known, that is when you keep going out more. Okay. So courtship is a period where you see more of each other. So at that point, you narrowed it down to one person now. To one person. Good. And good. everybody has eliminated good. Good. other calls which you used to do. You cut it off. You cut it off. Courtship is not also the time to be kissing. Mm. It's not the time to be having sex. It's not the time to be sleeping over. Okay. It is 
not the time to be washing for the man. It's not the time to be cooking for the man. It's not the time for the man to be paying the woman's school fees or buying car for her and all that. That is not it. Because at the courtship stage, when you find certain red flags, you can walk out because it's not marriage. It is marriage that it becomes very difficult to walk out. Okay. So at the courtship stage, you still have the chance to walk out. So at the courtship, you're trying to investigate into the family proper, getting to know whether there is any sickness in the family, mental health in the family, which will inform the person better. So that is when the families both families you know get in and your family are also investigating while her family is also what investigating your focus is on one, one person. person you see when you meet people and you are leaving them you, you must leave, leave them a better than yeah. you met them exactly you were uh, you nearly got married so you were in your courtship stage. courtship state so that's what i'm saying that in the courtship state you can still break up exactly because of the dream you, you know had yes. you understand because you were still praying yes. and so the prayer starts even from the friendship exactly. to the dating then to the courtship when you get to the marriage that is where it becomes more difficult the moment you engage in sex you have lifted the game to another, another level, level. Yes. Yes. and it's going to spoil a lot of things in your life when you introduce sex that is when you experience stagnations that is when the two of you begin to have problems because the Bible said in the foundation be destroyed what can the righteous do because you are building on the wrong foundation and since you started through sex you have not honored the lord and since you have not honored the lord you are rather honoring the devil and the devil will take what control so if you are introducing sex you must have it at the back of your mind that you are spoiling your life it's going to affect your business it's going to affect your academics it's going to affect your health and we get sexual transmitted diseases and all that no but me my question is the feeling is that yes. you are with a person because there's something that attracts you. Yes. So how do you? I mean, I don't want us to fake so, it. So when you uh, see the person, so you feel like there. touching the person and kissing yes. the person. So, so, so what is the solution? Like I was, yeah. That is, that is, that is why I'm saying that if you are a Christian, be a Christian. <laughs> Because when you read Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. There are nine fruit of the Spirit. And there's one which is called self-control. Yeah. Hmm. You must be able to control yourself. Anyone who is not able to control him or herself is not matured. Hmm. Yeah. And there, there are a lot and of us. Yes, including pastors, some yes, of us. That's what human there's a lot of us. Yes. Yes. So, I like so, that. so the self-control, the self-control shows that this person has the spirit of God in him. Wow. It's the point where you are spiritually matured. You get it. You are asking whether if there is a problem with a person's uh, sexual performance. You see, or if that the is, thing does not get up at all. That is where I was. I brought the issue of what prayer. You see, this our brother's issue. He said he saw something in a dream that they were in the court so the lord is warning him that this thing that you are entering into is going to end in disaster so do what jump off it's it means that he has a relationship with god Every, yes we, we, we are not perfect we are not perfect we are not perfect but god loves us because god has an assignment for us so the sex where the person cannot perform i, I believe that by then you can receive a prompting like our brother so when you marry and you realize that this thing is you know it's not happening because you haven't done it still you have honored the lord the bible said anyone who honor me before me him will i honor before my father anyone who not honor me before me him will i not honor before my father so to you you have honored the, the lord pastor the final words it's a blessing um, god created marriage to fulfill four things number one thing is supposed to fulfill is loneliness number two is companionship number three is help number four is procreation Okay. So these are the four areas that God made marriage to, you know, take care of, to satisfy our loneliness, for us to have companionship, for us to help one, one another, and then to work for procreation. Procreation is the last step. That is the sex is the last step. So the procreation, which is the last step, we always bring it to the first, and that is where we always get it wrong. It doesn't work like that. So let's take our time and go through the four processes. Okay. Next time when we meet, yeah. I will go deeper to these four levels. Okay.